Hi, I'm Evan. Hi, Hi I'm Majek. Hi, I'm Raymundo. And we're here to show you how to do an ad conversation. The first thing you should probably do is to read the text. It's normally an excerpt from a text, but sometimes it is a poem or a short story. In this case, it is an excerpt from My Sword Hand is Singing by Marcus Sedgwick. So, first up, so after you've read the text, then you go down the list, starting with clarify any words you don't know. So you write clarify up on the board, underline it, and then if, and then if there's any words you don't know, you write them up there. Are there any words you don't know, guys? I don't either. But that means you have to listen. Yes. Okay. Verges. Verges. It's good one. So. We clear. Can you go in there? So verges. We could look that up in a dictionary. Or, or on a Chromebook. Yeah. And sometimes it says it right below. Yep, in the bottom right corner, they have a, if the word is bolded or underlined up in text, then it will also show the definition. In this case, it means edges. So, draw a visualization, which can be short, V-I-S, done. So, who thinks they can do a visualization? So, we, we, after you read the passage, you have to think a little bit of the details and how and what you think of this, the setting would be like. So, right now, the passage is describing a, a rich environment with a river going through it. So, we, so I'd be drawing a, a river right now and a bunch of trees with some rocks around. So after you've drawn the visual, then you go on to analyze. So what important positive or negative words does the writer use to describe this place? Ideas? Mm. Bridges? Uh, we're looking for positive or negative details. So okay. I think gently kind of makes it positive. Because it flows through. I think if it were like a rushing river that looked as if it was going to take you away would be more negative, so I think gently is kind of positive. Yeah. Negative, I don't think there really are any. So, after you've done that, then you look, what does the author want us to believe about this setting? I think they kind of want it us to kind of believe that, I think they kind of want us to believe that this setting is kind of in the middle of a jungle, kind of lush, green, and tropical. Dream vacation, pretty much. We go on to respond and connect. After he gets done writing. The will write a response about this. So, a, a response is saying like what an interesting part of the text is, what's surprising you, what this text makes you think about. Think about why this is important or a part you like. So, do either of you have any responses to this text? This makes me think about the forests and the wide open lands. Uh, wide open wouldn't make much sense. It seems like it's very I mean like jungle. There's no homes or so too, a very, so so like a cabin. It's so yeah. very like peaceful. A cat. Actually, yeah, we're making a connection to ask a question. So after this, you make a connection and ask a question. So, do you guys have any questions about this? Not really. I'm, I'm, kind, of, I'm kind of wondering why they used verges to describe this, because they could have used edges. And question can be just abbreviated to a question mark. So do either of you guys have any questions or connections to this? Mm. So, I'm kind of thinking they just wanted to use more sophisticated language. But we don't know that yet, so that's why it's a question. You know what? Maybe we could write to Marcus Sedgwick and ask him why he chose that word. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then, so that's what this paper asked us to do. But there's other ones you can do. Like, there's a sum summarization. So, so it can, so for a nonfiction, text, you would do, the author wants the reader to know that, but for a fiction text, which I am sure this is, you do, 
you are it. Oh, this could be abbreviated to S U M M. So this, you write this text or paragraph or sentence is about. So this is a paragraph. So what is this paragraph about? It's it's explaining a um, more of a structure in the woods and how quiet it is and peaceful. So we kind of say it's used. It's kind of using the exposition of the story to give a setting. Yeah. Okay. okay, so thanks for watching. The Next week! Un and we are, whoever your language and literature teacher is, is happy to answer questions about this.